good. Hey guys, this is Gavin Adcock. I forgot my intro right there. But, hey guys, this is Gavin Adcock. Welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase the Cup. And today we are doing race 19 of 36. And we are at New Hampshire International Raceway, I mean Speedway, for the Sylvania 300. Alright, so I've already qualified, so let's get this going. I got pole. Even though I do terrible at this track, I don't know how I got pole. I'm just not gonna ask any questions. So yeah. And I pulled out to a lead. Alright, here we go. And I'll leave lap one. Can I make it two weeks in a row? Can I make it two races in a row? I'd be happy. I, I still, I, for, I keep forgetting to look, watch my races to see the last time I won. I'll lead lap two. Oh, uh, I went high on the track and gave no one the lead. But take the lead back. I've led every lap so far, and I'm going to add one more to that. Alright. Hey, Newman gets into me. Which a lot, which makes me lose the lead. As I, I, as Pete Nelson wins, I mean leads that lap. Dang it! I was looking forward to lead from lead to lead the entire race. I wonder if I could just save fuel and and not have to pit at all. I doubt it. Eh, I'll fit. Alright, so we're fitting on lap 11. Wait, please tell me I'm recording. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna lead that lap. We've led, we've led seven laps of twenty-four. Okay, that sounded weird. When I said it, it kind of made it sound like um, we've raced 24 laps, but no. I've led all seven laps so far. I realized I just said eight laps when I was um, explaining what, what it sounded like I said. Nope. Alright. So, that's eight laps led of eight. Alright, there we go. Alright. Alright. We 
you're on lap 10, so we'll be pitting next time by... I'm just wondering, can I... No, I can't make it. Yeah, I can't make it the entire race without pitting. Maybe tires, if actually can. I could make it on tires, but not fuel. Taking right sides, full fuel, don't repair, and we're good. Okay, that was weird. Go, 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 go. Alright, go, 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 go. this race it's likely we're doing well enough to win we're in the 11th right now all right we are now left 14 as we have 11 to go looks like the leader is pitting nope Maybe. I'll poop on the grass. The leader is pitting! And now I am the leader. Everyone's gonna have fresher tires than me. And more fuel. So I have to come straight up getting, getting a bit of lead if I, if I want to try to win this race. That's basically how it works if you pit before everyone else. I prefer pitting before anyone else than um, pit. I prefer the early pit um, strategy than late pitting strategy. I don't know why I just do. Because you can get up, after you pit, you can get out there and get a bunch of positions while everyone's pitting. Like you can lap, and you can lap a bunch of people. But if you choose a late pit um, strategy, um, you'll go lap down maybe, and um, wait. No, wait. Hold on. If you choose a late pit strategy, everyone has pitted. So you're most likely not doing too well, and you pit, and um, and um, you have the fresh, and you have maybe the freshest tires on the track. <laughs> so then you can get out and pass everybody. Both both strategies, you pass a bunch of people. Frankly, I just prefer pitting early. I feel like it just works well for me. I guess it's just based on um, your preference. Most people probably... What do you guys prefer? Late pit strategy? Or um, early pit strategy? Okay, we're halfway on fuel. We have enough to make it. Right. 
Okay, so we're on lap 20 of 24 as we have five to go. This is this has been a pretty entertaining race. Even though I've led almost the entire thing. Alright, three to go. I mean, four to go, sorry. We don't run lap 24, we just race until lap 24. We stop at lap 20. We stop after lap 23. Yep. That's basically what I just said about there being only three laps left. Yep. Alright. Three to go. Seems like they're catching me. So better run. As I have some of the oldest tires on the track. Low on fuel. Can we make it? I think so. I'm not sure anymore now. I hope so. I'm pretty sure we can make it. Alright. I'm not gonna say fuel because I don't need to. Probably should, but. Okay, I guess I saved a bit of fuel there. Okay. Final lap in the air for Dale Nart Jr. at New Hampshire. Looks like I'm gonna win back to back here, folks. Very low on fuel. Frankly, doesn't matter. Three of my tires are worn. Left sides and the and the right front. And we win the race. And now it's time for celebration. Time for a box of donuts. Why did I say that? I can. Alright, we're going to do a, a Polish victory lap. Something I can do from now on. Hello, fans! What's up? Dang it! Alright, slow down, slow down. Alright. Hello! Junior's happy y'all could make it. Alright. That was, that was a good race. I loved that. That was fun. I don't do well at New Hampshire. I'm not lying either. Apparently I do now. Alright, so here we go. So we won that race. And your top five was Dale Earnhardt Jr., Tony Stewart, Brian Newman, Matt Kenseth, Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Elliot Sadler. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, and Casey Kane. Now let's look at the highlight reel. I guess only three of five. There I am pitting. Alright. Here I am leading the lap. All right, and here's me winning the race. All right. Okay, we got to see the point standings real quick. Yeah. 
Jock Jr. Alright. I see Bristol's coming up in a minute. Wait. Okay, so the next five races, the next four races we have are, um, are, are Indianapolis, Levi Strauss, um, Speedway, Watkins Glen, and Rislaw. I don't know what that last one is. Alright, guys, so before we end it, as always, we are going to look at points. And we've closed the points all the way to 80 back, which I think is awesome considering we were 132 back. So, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.